Hi, this is Stephen Putt. Today I'll be showing you how to increase the utilization of your drills and your explosives with the use of blast logic. So today we'll be using the desktop and the tablet. And to start out with, what we're going to do is first pick our charge sheet. So this is just the explosives designed for all the holes you see. And then we're going to find that charge sheet on our tablet. Jump into the instructions. Basically, we're going to load high density product for a rate of penetration lower than 100 and then standard product if it's higher. Rate of penetration is basically how fast the drill is able to get through your rock, so lower numbers equal harder rock. Um, we'll just go ahead and pick a few holes that we're going to be dealing with. And right now we're going to wait for them to get drilled. I mean, it looks like hole E88 and E87, they've gone from that purple color to blue and they've kind of moved a little bit as well, which means that they've been drilled and their locations have been updated. So now what we'll do is just keep an eye on the tablet because what's going to happen is once that drilling data comes in, the tablet's going to eventually synchronize and update those depths and it's going to update for that ROP value, uh, which is going to tell us how hard that rock is. So here we can see the ROP was 117. So this is just it's above that 100 number that we designated, so this is going to be standard loading. So we'll just go ahead and load this E87 and E88. And then we'll just continue on. So now we'll wait for a few more holes to get drilled. I believe F88 and F89 will be coming up in a little bit. Uh, so we'll, like I said, we'll just wait for those to turn blue and they moved a little bit again. So now we'll jump back into the tablet. You can see the comment there says not drilled, so we're just waiting for that synchronization to happen. Uh, and there we go, and it looks like, um, as you can see, the product has automatically changed. So we've gone from an ANFO main column to a heavy ANFO um, 1.2 density. So this is because that ROP value is below that 100 that we set, so that means that it's a little bit harder than the usual rock. This is going to change the products for you, so we can go ahead and load... And if we want to, we can even bump up the energy by going to a heavy amp at 1.3. It's just to show that you have the option if you need to. Then we can go ahead and load, um, enter in any explosive differences there are, and continue on from there. So we'll go ahead and load F89 as well. And of course, this is kind of using the auto validation tools in Blast Logic, but sometimes they miss something, so it's always good to go back in and double check your drilling. Um, in this case, we've got one, we're missing kind of one um, hole that wasn't assigned. And it looks like that's because there was a redrill. That first hole was only 15.7 feet. So I think it looks like, yeah, the driller just went through and, and gave it another try. So we'll just go ahead and abandon that first hole and call the next one, or call that 93R a redrill. And then we can continue on loading from there. And just a few benefits from using this kind of system. The first would be just getting that full use out of your drilling data rather than using this GPS system just for marking out holes. You can get that information back pretty quickly and, and put it to good use for your explosives loading. And as you can see with this, there's not a lot of work involved in that, more than just a couple of checks here and there. So you can also get just better use out of your explosives. Um, you don't need to use heavy info if you don't have to. Um, some places will just assume that the entire bench is hard where that may not be the case. So in this situation you could be loading info and saving a bit of cash on explosives. And then with the tablet you're also getting the as loaded explosives use. So that can be very helpful you know once you fired the shot you can kinda see what was loaded where and if there were any effects uh, hard digging or anything maybe you would adjust that ROP threshold down to 95 or so just to kind of change where you're loading certain explosives and just to kind of help see the bigger picture. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please just contact your local MapTech office. Thanks. Bye.